We are at Maker's Yard, studios for artists and designer makers in Rutland Street in Leicester's Cultural Quarter in September 2020. It's run by Leicester City Council, managed by the team at nearby LCB Depot. This is the earliest surviving example of an unpowered hosiery factory in the East Midlands. The buildings of Maker's Yard show how the hosiery trade changed from a home-based to a factory-based industry. In the 1850s and 60s, J. Brown and Sons hosiery manufacturers built a warehouse for framework knitters working from home to bring their work in, mainly gloves to start with. Then a factory was added, then a second warehouse as the firm grew. There have been a variety of makers on site since, mostly part of Leicester's famed hosiery and leather industries. The last occupants were Charnwood Hosiery, who made socks for football teams and for the army. This closed in the early 2000s. The buildings were left empty, overgrown and at risk of demolition. The historical significance of the buildings was recognised in 2006 when they were awarded Grade 2 listing by English Heritage. In 2012, Leicester City Council regenerated the site in partnership with Maber Architects builders Morgan Sindel. It opened as Maker's Yard Studios for Artists and Designer Makers in 2013. 20 creatives in 10 studios continue the tradition of making on this site. The Maker's Box showcase for the designers who work here. And the Big Sign by Phil Blake were added in 2017. At the east end of Rutland Street is Humberston Gate. Go left to the clock tower and city centre shops, right to Uppingham, Peterborough and Kings Lynn on the A47. Here on the right are student flats being developed on the former site of the International Hotel, Exhibition Centre, Freeman Hardy Willis's replacement for the Freeman Hardy Willis building that was bombed in November 1940. Next door to Maker's Yard is the former J. Herbert Marshall piano and music shop. He was also mayor of Leicester in 1897. This is now Helsinki Bar and Hands Cleaners. Back up Rutland Street, past the Maker's Yard building. We're now going to have a quick look at the grand frontage of the Feister and Vogel building, which was the Leather Factors warehouse built in 1923. This is now also Grade 2 listed. It's apartments and also home to Mojo Promotions. We'll step back and get a good view. up to the top. On this side, the yellow stone is Alexander House, former boot and shoelace warehouse built in 1898 for Samuel Fair. This is grade two listed and this also is now 175 apartments. 
Note the Fair Brothers window etching on the glass, just there. This is also home to that well-loved niche stationary product. The treasury tag, which was invented in this building. I'll have a look at the doorway on the corner. Magnificent frontage. There's always a van going by. Note the inscription above the doorway. Sapit Key Laborat. He who labours is wise. This is Southampton Street. And it's got the name of the street carved into the building. Down there, on the left, is Phoenix Cinema, and at the bottom, Leicester Print Workshop. This is now Athena Banqueting Suite, on the site of the former 1930s Odeon Cinema. Up there is Orton Square, named after Joe Orton, the Leicester-born playwright, and Orton's Brasserie which opened earlier this year on the site of the former Queen Victoria Arts Club and before that, the Swingers Club and Snooker Hall G-Spot. Curve Theatre, opened in 2008, replacing the Haymarket as Leicester's main theatre, taking its design inspiration from the nearby Lee Circle NCP car park. LCB Depot, is up there on the left at number 31. Rutland Street goes north up to the Town Hall. Well, that's our short introduction to Outside Maker's Yard. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos of Inside Maker's Yard and of Outside and Inside LCB Depot. And look out for our Heritage Open Days info on social media, on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. You can find more information at makersyard.com and at storyofleicester.info. We'll have one final glimpse into Makers Yard with a list of the current tenants.